Hello friends and welcome to CC Updates India. Today we are here with our new topic on practical experience that is PER. Today in this video we are going to take a quick overview on what is PER and what are the five easy steps to achieve your PER in time. So without wasting more time, let us start the video. First of all, let us see what is practical experience PER. So, to become an ACCA member, you must demonstrate relevant skills and experience within a real work environment. This is what the practical experience requirement that is PER is all about. You will need to complete 36 months supervised experience in a relevant role or we can say roles and demonstrate that you have gained a real range of skills by achieving 9 performance objectives that is 5 essentials and 4 technical objectives. We are going to discuss in detail about the 5 essentials and 4 technical objectives in the next videos. You will use online my experience tool which is accessible through my ACCA to record your PER and have a experience signed off by a practical experience supervisor. So we understand that PER may be a little doubting and you might be wondering how to get started but don't worry complete your PER can be achieved in five easy steps so let us see what are those steps step one is gain relevant experience to achieve the PER you will need to gain work experience in a relevant role this is a role where you spend time on accounting and finance task if you are not in full-time accounting role at the moment don't worry our PER policy is flexible so that there are many ways to demonstrate that you are achieving the PER you can use supervised experience you have gained through roles in any organization or sector part-time work multiple roles you don't have to achieve 36 months PER within one same employer. Partial relevant roles where only some of your time is spent on accounting or finance work. Roles you worked in before joining SEC can be considered. Or internship or volunteering in any society. So step 2 is find a supervisor. Your experience needs to be supervised to count your PER. You must find a practical experience supervisor to supervise and sign off your performance objectives and the time you have completed in a role. Some key points to remember while completing your PER are as follows. Usually your practical experience supervisor will be your line manager. You can have more than one supervisor. Your supervisor must be a qualified accountant to sign off your performance objectives. Your experience does not need to be qualified accountant to sign off the time you have completed in a role. That is, the person signing off your time may or may not be your qualified accountant or supervisor. If your line manager is not a qualified accountant, then you can ask another manager, a consultant or the organization external accountants or editors who are a qualified accountant and eligible to complete your PER to work with your line manager and sign off your objectives. So the next step is step 3 which is start recording your PER. You will find a PER much easier if you record your experience as you achieve it that is on day to day basis. Once you are working in a relevant role make sure that 
you record this experience in my experience account so that you can track your progress you will need to record details of your employer name and address and your role including job title and the start date you also need to add your supervisor's details and send them an invitation to register because you won't be able to sign off your pr until you have registered and your supervisor is also registered with the same so this is number step 3 start recording the step 4 is target performance objectives you must choose the performance objectives you are working on some key points to remember while performing the performance objectives are you need to complete nine performance objectives out of which all five essentials are the compulsory objectives and another five technical objectives you have to achieve make a plan for achieving your performance objectives with your practical experience supervisor choose the practical objectives that link to your everyday work as this will be easier to achieve you can work on more than one objective at a time and you can complete your objective in any order so you don't have to follow any sequence to complete your objectives once you have decided with objectives to target you can start recording your experience in your my experience to complete each performance objective you will need to write a statement and confirm that you have achieved a list of tasks called element submit your performance objectives to your supervisor to sign off so this is step number 4 target performance objectives the last step is keep going do not stop anywhere the total you will need to complete 36 months experience and a nine performance objectives but this does not need to be in one continuous role that is you can keep on changing your role or your job work accordingly acca's per policy is flexible so if you are moving to a non accounting or finance role while working or you are taking a career break don't worry just remember to get all your progress so far recorded and signed off so that when you are ready to continue with your per again you can carry on from where you have left off without having to go back to past employers to get our experience verified so this is the step number 5 keep going so all the steps you can summarize as step 1 gain relevant experience step 2 find a supervisor step 3 start recording step 4 target performance objectives step 5 keep going so this is what all for the day keep following us for the next video on per where we are going to talk in detail about the per thank you Thank you.